So why might we use SAS over just writing handwritten CSS? Well, there's a number of benefits that we can get from SAS. The first of these is reduced maintenance cost. We can take advantage of some of the features of SAS to just define things once in one place. Once we've defined a set of styles, we can reuse this throughout the style sheet, and if we need to change this definition, we just change it in one place, rather than having to find and replace throughout the whole file. Using SAS, we can write less boilerplate code, so if you imagine vendor prefixes for something like border radius can be quite tedious to write, using SAS means that we don't have to go and keep repeating ourselves writing this kind of boilerplate CSS. SAS allows us to better organise our styles, and it does so in a number of ways, one of which is allowing us to split our styles into multiple files. So these files still only generate one CSS file, so we don't have to make multiple browser requests, but by organising our styles into separate files, we can better locate and organise things. The features of SAS allow us to improve the readability and understandability of our styles, so it's easier for us to understand exactly what HTML elements they're targeting. Taking advantage of SAS means that we can reduce the duplication present in our styles. We can define some style properties once in a single place, and then reuse them throughout the style sheet, rather than having to go and copy and paste these styles. And finally, we can take advantage of calculated values in SAS. So rather than having to sit and work things out ourselves with a calculator, for example, margins or border radiuses, we can go and actually have SAS perform the calculation for us. The added benefit of this is that if we have some kind of root for the calculation, so for example, a color or a width, once we change this width once, SAS will automatically recalculate all of the values from this.